Texas top leaders say their plan to reduce your property taxes is moving forward. The House of Representatives will vote on a tax swap plan next week. KVU political reporter Ashley Godot is here and Ashley to reduce property taxes. They're actually thinking of raising another tax. The sales tax, Quita, the governor, lieutenant governor and speaker of the House called a joint news conference today to talk about property taxes and drill in the message. They are on the same page and they will make this happen. The big three made it clear their priority bills for the session are no longer just property tax and school finance reform, but also the tax swap. Governor Greg Abbott noted Senate Bill 2 will slow the growth of your property taxes by decreasing how much taxing entities can raise rates and House Bill 3 better funds public education. But he said in order to see a reduction in your property tax bill, they want the tax swap, increasing the sales tax by one cent and using that money to buy down property taxes. The Speaker of the House says they will vote on this next week, but here's where things get tricky. What will they vote on? One option is to send a constitutional amendment to increase the sales tax to voters, but that takes two thirds vote of the legislature. So 100 representatives and 21 senators, and it's unclear if the support is there for that. It's far harder for him to get to a, a hundred and uh, and I hope that happens and I hope we get to our 21 to make it happen and if it doesn't we'll make it happen anyway. Those statements, that's how the news conference ended. Those were literally the last words. And what that means is Patrick and Bonin may go another route with a different bill to pass the sales tax increase with a simple majority vote. That would need just 76 votes in the House and 16 in the Senate. So lawmakers would likely vote on party lines. And in this case, the Republicans have it. Democrats have said they oppose the tax swap because it will hurt poor Texans the most since they spend more of their income on sales tax than wealthier Texans. Of course, we will watch how it all plays out next week.